1,500 government jobs will be slashed as part of a plan to cut our growing debt. The Premier says he's frustrated and he's warning there are more cuts to come. Today, the wheels kept turning at Perth City Link, one of the Barnett government's big picture infrastructure projects. It's been spending $8 billion every year on these big ticket items. Debt's grown to $21 billion. Today, the government admitted its next budget's unlikely to be in the black. But Mr Barnett says ongoing expenses like wages are the problem. We are getting into the situation of having to borrow to fund services and that's a place I don't want to go. The Premier admits the government's struggling to fund basic services like health and education. He's blaming plunging iron ore royalties and big cuts to WA's share of GST. I'm frustrated and uh, bordering on angry. To find $2 billion in missing revenue, public sector budgets are on the chopping block. 1,500 jobs will be lost through voluntary redundancies and public servants will have to do more with less. Every government department, except schools, is expected to make 1% budget cuts. Operating subsidies the state government pays to our utilities, like Synergy and Watercorp, will also be slashed by 10%. But the state government is adamant that won't mean higher charges or affect services. What we'll also see from Mr Barnett are tax rises, and further cuts to uh, frontline services. Unions agree services will suffer. Certainly been run down and cut, cut to the bone. But this isn't the end. The Premier's warning there'll be more savings to come. Alicia Kennedy, Nine News.